So in this video, we are going to add a main menu system to our Temple Run prototype. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Quantum Browse over here, and then I'm going to right click over here, and then select Level, and I'm going to call this Main Menu Level. So I'm going to save this, and this is going to be our new main level, and over in the right side we have this world settings over here and under game mode you have this option called game mode override so click on here actually before we do that we're going to create a new game mode and i'm going to select blueprint class and in here select game mode base and i'm going to call this main menu game mode so i have main menu game mode so i'm going to go over to the world settings again and then select the main menu game mode so now that we have done that next we are going to create our main menu system so go over down here under user interface widget blueprint select user widget and then type main menu bpv so i'm going to open this up all right so in here i'm going to drag canvas panel and then again arrange this or scale the canvas panel to 1080p after I have done that I'm going to select vertical box over here drag this over here over to the center and then in the details panel select the anchors and then click on this one over here which will anchor this widget over here to the center so I'm just gonna make this to the center and I'm going to name this, I'm going to rename this as main menu. And while this is selected, I'm going to type over here button, drag this down over here into the vertical box. And we have to scale the vertical box so that we can view whatever that is in it more clearly. And then, and I'm going to drag three more buttons over here. One is for playing the game. The other is for store, which I'm not going to add any logic into it for now, but later on I'll add some into it. And the last one being options. So three buttons for all those three actions. And then I'm going to select the first one and then search for text. Drag this over here into the button over here and do the same for all the three buttons. After you're done all that, we're going to rename all of these so i'm going to select the first button rename it call this as play the second button i'm going to call this as store and the third button will be options right now none of this have been updated over here because we'll be having renamed our text over here but the reason why i named all of these widgets over here is so that we can easily understand which widget does what it's a lot more easy to add logic into these widgets if you have given them names so i'm going to select over here go under text in the first button and then type play the second one i'm going to call the store and the third one as options and then i'm just going to remove the fill function over here select all these three remove fill and i'm just doing this to give more space to the buttons so that they are not all tightly close to each other and they look more like a button i'm going to arrange the vertical box over here towards the center so so after you have done that i'm going to add another vertical box so just drag this over here and I'm going to remove the visibility of the first one, that is the main menu vertical box. And the second one, I'm going to name this as option menu. So we have two vertical boxes, one for the main menu and one for the option menu. So the only button that will work in our main menu for now is the play button and the options button, not the store button. We'll add the logic for that later on. Back in our options menu, I'm going to scale this up then search for button actually first search for text just add a text over here and then again scale this down a bit and then add a button 
we're going to again add another text block into the button over here and this button is going to be our return button so just rename this as return and name this as return and the first one i'm going to call this as options make it towards the center and this one i'm going to add this as field for now there is no much options inside this i mean there's only a return button over here nothing else but later on when we are when we are going to be developing our game even further we can add more options over here right now i'm just adding this options menu over here mainly for testing purposes and that's it we have created both the main menu and the options menu now we need to add logic into these two things so over in here i'm going to search for image drag this over here anchor it to the entire canvas length then i'm going to scale this all over here even if this image goes over the boundaries a little bit it's fine so i'm just going to do it like this and over in here i'm going to rename this as background image so background image i'm going to give this something like light blue and then over in the z order over in the details panel we have this option called z order that is under slot canvas panel slot i'm going to give this a value of minus one and maybe our image is a bit too bright so i'm going to make this a bit darker decrease the contrast a bit maybe increase the saturation and yeah i think this looks fine so now we have our main menu set up i'm just going to drag this image towards the top and now we're going to add the logic to each of these buttons so in the main menu i'm going to go and select the play button that is this one over here in the details panel drag down we have a bunch of events and in one of them we have this event called on clicked so click on this plus icon over here and when we press the play button we're going to first load a level and i'm going to type open level by name and we need to get the name of the level that that contains our temple run prototype so in my case it is the infinite runner level so this is the level that contains all my gameplay in it so i'm just going to click on rename and copy the name and then over in the level name i'm going to paste this over here from here i'm going to drag this out and then type remove from parent so this is going to remove the widget of this main menu away when, uh, when we click and open this new level so uh, once we are done with it i'm going to go back to designer view and in here i'm going to select on options and we're going to give functionality when we click on the button called options so over here before we do that i'm going to go back to the designer view and then click on this main menu uh, that is the vertical box under details you have this option called ease variable that is over here click on this checkbox over here so that it will create a variable of this vertical slot or the vertical box that we can use as a variable in our logic over here in the graph so similarly in the options menu i'm going to click on this ease variable over here and then go back to graph and suddenly you have these two variables over here called options and main menu so i'm going to drag both of these over here i'm going to get the reference and then from here i'm going to drag and type set visibility so in the case of the options button in the main menu when we click on the options button we want the options button that is the that is the main menu vertical box over here to disappear or disable its visibility and then enable the visibility of the options menu there is this one over here so we're going to use these set visibility to to enable and disable the visibility of the main menu and the options menu to kind of show the player based on what they want so in here since we clicked on the options button we want to show the options menu 
so I'm going to first disable or hide the main menu so I'm going to click on hidden under invisibility and then I'm going to drag the execution pin over here and then type set visibility again and this time I'm going to drag and connect to target over here of the options menu and then make this visible and also if I want in the designer view click on the options menu and then make sure under behavior we have this option called visibility click on the drop down icon over here and then click on hidden and what this does is that it will make the option menu hidden by default so that we can manually control make it visible or hidden whenever we want now what we need to do is we need to give functionality to the return button over here so again go back over here and click on the on click on click event and then what i'm going to do is copy these two and then paste it over here and this time we're just going to reverse the role of these two nodes so i'm going to copy these two paste it over here and this time since we're returning back to the main menu we want the option menu to be rather hidden so drag to the target of the set visibility on this one since in this the invisibility is set as hidden and then over in the here and over here we are going to connect the main menu to target and the visibility is set as visible this way when we return to the main menu the options menu will be set as hidden and the main menu will be made as visible once again compile these and now that we have done that we are going to go back to the level over here in our viewport and then open the level blueprint and in here from begin play i'm going to drag and then type create widget and then we're going to select the main menu blueprint widget and then apply this to the viewport so type add to viewport make sure to connect the return value to the target over here and after that drag from the the output execution pin of add to viewport and then type set input mode to game only and then right click and then type get player controller and then connect this to the player controller over here and what this node does is that basically with this node you can only control the player controller while in game mode and not in any other mode i will show you what i mean later on so for now just follow and again drag from the get play controller and then type show mouse cursor we are going to set the show mouse cursor connect the execution pin and then make sure the checkbox is set as true so just using a view root node and that's about it so just compile this and then try running the game so now you can see our buttons are all responding so if i click on play our level is loaded and then when i exit from the game we return back to the main menu level itself so again running this game again and notice that when i click over here like the mouse cursor i'm not losing the cursor control like what usually happens when you click on the viewport watch what happens when i remove that remove this node over here so i'm just gonna disconnect the connection over here so after you delete this one as well the show mouse cursor and then compile this watch what happens so over here, in here i'm going to click over here anyway on this screen over here and i lost my mouse cursor like my mouse cursor control is gone by having these connections over here you don't lose a mouse control over there now when i click on the options button over here i'm suddenly navigated to the options the options menu and the previous menu that is the main menu has vanished or rather has been hidden and when i click on this return button the main menu is back again we can view it again so yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye